Hi, hi, I'm here. A couple of weeks ago, I was in my local grocery store looking for some kitty litter to put in the car. I like to use that on ice if I get stuck or something. And while I was there, I found this stuff. I'll put the picture over here. Uh, I found this stuff in the same aisle. It's from Purina Tidy Cats. It's called Pure Nature. It's a ground-up mixture of cedar, pine, and corn. And since all that stuff is made, it's all made of stuff that burns, I thought that might be some handy stuff for making DIY fire starters with. If you saw an older video of mine, I used some uh, chipped stuff that you use on the bottom of pet cages, but I ended up having to run it through my a blender that I picked up from Goodwill. Don't do it with your wife's blender, believe me. But uh, I'd have to take these chips and grind them up. But this stuff, hopefully you can see it here. That's a dime to use for a reference for size. It's all ground up already. And this is all wood. Or not wood necessarily, but burnable material. Corn, pine, cedar, all ground up. So I thought maybe I'd give that a try as a fire starter. Here's one I've already made up. Put it in a small petty four cup. You could use bigger ones too. You could use, you know, condiment cups, depending on what size you want to make them. Let me try lighting this so we can see it burning while I show you how I make them. Just lights right up. Let me. Now that's just a corner there. Got to get some more of it started. Not bad. Let me put that over here to the side. Okay, what I use to make this stuff is I save old candles, uh, bottled candles, stuff like that. I like using red ones because you can see what you're doing. You can use, use uh, golf wax for that matter. If you can't get a hold of any kind of wax, go to your grocery store and you can get this. You saw me using this on a little wax burning stove, but you can use this stuff. Well, like I said, I'm cheap. I like using old candles and stuff that are all banged up. I have a couple of these cup warmers that I've also picked up from Goodwill. You can use that to melt this. Use as a double boiler instead of having to mess up pans. That's another thing. Uh, <clears throat> use these are little dishes that I pick up at Goodwill. You can get all this kind of stuff. Don't use a pan, a good pan, because sometimes it's hard to get this stuff out. That's burning really nicely. Where was I? Oh, so you melt down the wax. I'll put a cover over top of this to contain the heat, and it just melts it down. I don't know if you can see Yeah, you can see it there. So from that, all I do is I take some of that the chips from the Pure Nature Kitty Litter, I guess you might call it. Sprinkle that in here. I think this is much easier to work with than a double boiler. You got to be careful with wax. You don't want to heat it up too much because it can start, you know, explode and start on fire. Or maybe not explode, but it can burst into flames. With this, the cup warmer usually used to keep your hot your coffee and cocoa hot is just enough to get this going. So I don't know, can you see that? Still a little bit wet in there. Add a couple more chips. Just mix it in. Cool. Now, you know, you can make this however wet you want. I'm not making candles with this. I'm hoping that the wood will burn. Can you still see that over there? Still burning nicely. And with being wax impregnated in this, or whatever you want to call it, mixed in with this, it's pretty much waterproof. So I've got this mixed up. Now all you do is you get your little cups or whatever you want to use. In this case, small pedophor cups. And just 
put it down in there, press it down somewhat. Now remember, this will be warm. And there you go. Let this cool off, it'll solidify, and you got yourself a little fire starter. See it over there? Okay, I just thought I'd share that with you. Looks like this stuff burns really well. Huh, better than I thought it would. And it's not like this was smothered in wax. It's just enough wax to hold the uh, chips together. Cool. So, wanted to share that. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.